Hello everyone, I'm Georgios Pavlakos, I'm a PhD student at the University of Pennsylvania, and today I would like to present our work on harvesting multiple camera views to automatically produce 3D human pose annotations without using any markers. So, if convolutional neural networks have told us of one thing, this is that it is all about the data you have. In particular, for human pose estimation tasks, the availability of huge benchmarks has improved the performance for 2D human pose estimation, multi-person pose estimation, as well as 3D human pose estimation. Unfortunately, this assumption of abundant data is usually far from true. For example, 3D human pose estimation in the wild remains a huge challenge because current mock-up systems for 3D ground truth acquisition don't work outside, and we cannot expect humans to reliably annotate metric 3D information and get benchmarks similar to the variability of 2D pose datasets like MPII or LSP. Similarly, for 2D pose estimation, we might have achieved impressive results, but still, if you download an out-of-the-box 2D pose detector and apply it to your own data, you might only get moderate success, as is the case in this slide. Ideally, you would want to automatically adapt the generic content to your own task without any manual intervention. So, the question we ask in this work is, if we have access to multiple views of a scene, can we make use of the multi-view geometry to help us in this small data regime? So, in this work, we propose an approach to automatically produce 3D human pose annotations by harvesting multiple camera views. The input to our approach is a set of videos captured from a calibrated multi-view setup. The first step is to use a state-of-the-art ConvNet, like the stacked hourglass design, to produce 2D pose estimates in the form of heat maps. These heat maps only contain information about the single view appearance, so we use a 3D pictorial structures model to combine the single view estimates into a globally consistent 3D pose. This model estimates the posterior distribution of each joint over the 3D space, where we use the mean of the posterior as the joint position, while the determinant of the covariance matrix can be used as an estimate of the estimates uh, of the predictions uncertainty. So, with this approach, apart from achieving state-of-the-art results for multi-view pose estimation, we can use the 3D pose estimates as high-quality annotations for human pose estimation tasks. A straightforward way to use our 3D annotations is to train a convnet that takes a single RGB image as input and predicts the 3D pose of the human. We did that for human 3.6 million and we got very, very comp compelling results. In fact, our convnet trained only on our automatic annotations is on par with the state of the art for these datasets, which uses the actual 3D ground truth for training. This means that our automatic annotations can be as valuable as the actual and expensive 3D ground truth when it comes to convnet training. Another interesting use case for our 3D annotations is to project them back to the, to the image and use them as 2D annotations to refine a generic convnet to the, to the particular task of interest. This refinement offers an automatic way to adapt a generic convnet to the discriminative appearance of a specific user and improves 2D pose estimation. The improvement is both qualitative but also quantitative where the benefit from this refinement is reflected across all body joints. So, if you have any question, please come to our poster, poster 19, and don't forget to visit our project page to get more information and access the code for our approach. Thank you.